welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. It is Sunday the 8th of January and thank you for joining me today in my kitchen. So today I'm going to be cooking a beef stew in my slow cooker. Now this beef stew is full of speed food plus protein. Now before I get started I'm going to wash my hands and I will be back in a tickety boo. So I'll see you then. Hi everyone, well my hands are all nice and clean, I hope you can hear me okay and see me okay. Right, so I'm heating up a frying pan with fry light, I use butter, fry light. I mean I know you hear these people say oh they mark your pans and all that, but my pans ain't so bad actually. So anyway, but each to their own. Um, in this saucepan, I've got a pan of boiling water and inside this saucepan I've got potatoes, Swede, carrot, is that it? Yeah, that's it. With some salty, well, salty water, obviously. That's boiling away. What I'm going to do, um, I part boil my veg and then I put it in the slow cooker. So I'm going to brown the meat off, but I'm not going to cook it fully because it's going to go in the slow cooker for up to eight hours on low. So that's heating up nicely. I've already seasoned the diced beef, I've removed every little bit of fat and what I've done, I've added mint, garlic and salt and pepper. So I'm going to add that now into the pan. So excuse the sizzling, sizzling, <laughs> sizzling. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, so I'm going to dispose of that like so. Can you hear it sizzling away? Mm, lovely isn't it? So I'm going to brown that off, we'll whack that up and brown it off. So get, get that browned. I've got an empty bowl to put the diced beef in so I can set it aside. And then once that's done, I'm going to fry three leeks, which have already been chopped and cleaned because a little bit of mud and all that. And I've got three small onions, so I'm going to fry them up as well. Now with the carrots, I've chopped, peeled and chopped five carrots, large ones, a whole swede, and I've used three jacket potatoes, peeled and chopped them. So yeah, so all good. So I'm gonna get all this browned off as quickly as I can. Like I said, it's gonna go in the slow cooker, and we're not having this until tomorrow now. So, but yeah. So, how are we all? Are we all okay on Sunday? Wet day? Is it? dreary isn't it really but hey ho you know time of year can't be helped can it so but yeah right add a bit more fry light get that done using the tongs so it's all quickly done then and then I can just easily transfer the meat into the glass bowl so hope you can pick this up okay you can hear me okay. So yeah, I love a beef stew. Oh, it's just so nice. It's very filling. I'll probably make dumplings in the week, but I won't be having any. Kelly me will. So, so yeah, so a nice big batch cook of beef stew. So yeah, so that's browning off nicely. And I will be back soon. Hiya. Right, this is almost done. Like I said, I'm not going to cook it fully because it's going to go in the slow cooker, so it's all nice and brown. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to transfer it over into the dish. So our little bit of pinks, little bit meat, pinks of meat, get your words out Stephanie. <laughs> but don't worry about that because it's going to cook in the slow cooker. So, okay. Going all over the bowl, Stephanie. You meant to aim for the bowl. So get that done. Let's get it quickly done, actually. Excuse the steam. Steamy windows. Okay. Lovely. Right. Okay. I'm not going to wash it. I'm not going to wash the pan because I'll put that aside there. I'm going to add the leeks. And the frying pan, Stephanie. 
not to cook it. See, they're all flying everywhere. So I don't want to be cooked. I don't want to be cooked. I'm afraid I'll have to... I think I'll have to put them in a zippy bag next time or a little container. They're not cooperating. There we go. We're done. Okay, let's get these in there. It's alright, my cooker's all nice and clean. I always make sure that happens. And some of them are gone on the floor. Hey ho. No, we're not doing the five second roll. <laughs> right, so that's frying away in our slip. Right, I'm going to add the onion. See, you should have put them in a bowl, Stephanie. That way then they wouldn't have been flying everywhere. No. Okay. Right. Get these browned off nicely. The veg is nearly parboiled. So, but, um, yeah. Do that. Okay, have some more fry light. Now the size of my slow cooker, yeah. I've got the big one here. I can't remember what size it is. If I can remember, I'll put it on the screen. But that's how, you see it? That's how big it is. It's a large one. It's a cookworks. I got it from Argos a couple of years back. I think I've got it in, I think it was 2000. And 18 I'm not too sure I can't remember I've been asleep since then <laughs> that's one of Ian's by the way <laughs> okay nicely getting nicely browned I would speed this but effort effort so oh, you know what I forgot to add to the stewing steak I forgot to add a beef stock but hey ho no problem, it's fine. No worries there, because I can add it in the slow cooker. So actually I'm gonna get, yeah, I'll do that in a minute actually, yeah. Let's get the beef stock out in a minute. Oh my God, they're all protesting, aren't they, really? Let's stir it slowly, Stephanie. Yes. So you can add beef stock. I usually add one beef stock to the stewing, to the um, diced beef, but no worries. I'll add it in the slow cooker, so it's fine. It's all okay. So, also, back in a minute. To thicken it up, most people use corn flour, but I use pearl barley. My dad used to use pearl barley. So I'm gonna put 100 grams of this. So, it should, I mean, I might use all of it actually, just to thicken it up, so probably less it's probably accurate, 100 grams all this. So, do you like the little clips? They're good, aren't they? I've had these for years. My dad got me into these. Um, you can either get them from Home Bargains, B&M, or Tesco's, or Wilkinson's. So, yeah, keeps the bag all sealed and no spillages, eh? So, don't get everywhere then, does it, really? No, it doesn't, Stephanie. So, yeah, oh, look at that. Oh, can you smell that? It smells nice, no? Very, very nice. Starting to soften up now. Lovely jubbly. Everything's going as planned. Let's just check the veg. Give it a stab of rooney. Yeah, nice. Nice. Carrots. Let's have a look. Yep, yeah, nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Wipe that up. Okay. Like I said, all of it will be done in the slow cooker anyway. I'm just part boiling the veg. I'm um, just not browning the onion or the leeks. I'm just cooking them partly, you know, so par cooking. <laughs> Look at me with all the big words and the chef and all that. <laughs> Although if my daughter Rachel watches this later, she'll be like, no, it's not like that. Because my daughter Rachel, she's a qualified chef. So, yeah. So she's good at it, she really is, she is. She doesn't give herself enough credit, that girl, don't. And her fiance, the hubby to be, he's a chef as well. So yeah, so we've got two chefs in the family. Well, three, because um, Ian, Ian's quite a good cook as well, bless him. So I'll just wipe that off. I don't want to bang it, I usually bang on the tongs, going bang, 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 so I don't want to be deaf in you, deaf in you. Don't want to be like, 
hurting your little ears. Look at that. That is so nice now. Oh, my day is so nice. You know what? I might transfer. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna transfer the beef now into it, and then add my beef stock. Good thinking, Stephanie. Good thinking. So. Right, okay. I'll be back in a minute. Hello. Right, <laughs> that's a bit of a hello. If you can hear her, I mean, it's just the heating in the boiler or boiler, whatever. Now, I'm going to add a gnaw or canal <laughs> beef stock. Very nice. It's slowly simmered with carrots and parsley. Yeah, nice. Got these from Aldi. I'm going to pop these, well, one of these in. Plop, <laughs> as you do. Let's stir it in nicely. Now turn it down now. Turn the temperature down. I know everyone knows how to make beef stew, but I thought I'd show you know how I make mine. So probably the same way as everyone else's, but you know, sharing is caring, is it? You know, we're all friends here. Oh, if we only had smell of vision. This smells absolutely divine. It really does. So I'm hoping you can pick my voice up okay. But you're like, yes, we can, Stephanie. Shush, get on with the cooking. Look at that. How nice is that? I am going to tap it. So I do apologise. Right, okay. Uh, let's put them there. Right, so that's done. Click, 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 click. Check the veg. Not click on the veg. <laughs> and that's done too. Oh my day. So I'm going to get a jug of boiling water. So where is it? It's over there. So I'm gonna, I've got a, a litre, okay, a litre jug. Put them there. And I've got some boiling water. I'm gonna add three beef stock cubes. I'm gonna add these ones. These are from Aldi as well. So you don't need the main brand really. If you want to, that's fine. I usually get Sometimes I usually get an OXO cube and I crumble it up, but you know, it saves cost, doesn't it really? Like I said, you know, on my shopping haul last week, you're only paying for the name, aren't you really? So, but I suppose it's all about quality, isn't it? Whatever you fancy really. So I'm putting three of these in. Probably don't want three, it's up to you. I put three in, so I'm gonna Fill this up now with water. So excuse the steaminess. Steaminess, is that a word? No, it's definitely probably isn't. That's a litre there. So I'm leaving that over there to dissolve for a bit. Clear everything away. Get that over there. Put that there. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my slow cooker here. Stay. Thank you. Right. I'm going to stir that a bit more. I lost my tongs then, didn't I? So, that's that there. Let's give it a bang in. Right. I'm going to move that over there. I'm not going to put the slow cooker on there because it's hot. And that's just dangerous, isn't it? So I'm going to put it on this one, so that way then, I'm going to lift you up gently. Oh, don't worry, I won't drop you. Don't drop me, Steph. Okay, can you see okay? Yay! Right, okay, I'm going to get the veg. Okay, it's all boiled, part boiled now, so I'm going to pop it in the colander over here. Just talk amongst yourselves. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Okay. Woo! My guess. Woo! Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put half of the leek, onion, and diced beef into the slow cooker. Let's use the banging. Do apologise, but you're thinking, great, I am now officially deaf. 
Okay. Right. Get rid of this. Now we've got half of the bed in. <laughs> in the stove. I'm going to mix it in so it's all evened out. Oh, this is one steamy kitchen. And then I put the rest of the mixture. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use this easier then isn't it even the bits of juice and all that and everything just pop it all in it's all extra flavor isn't it can you see that okay good excuse the scraping okay that's that done and then the rest It sounds like a steam train, doesn't it? Choo choo! Mix a bit of here, don't want to be wasting any. So like I said, it's all speed food. Need for speed, and the need for speed. It's all good for you. Right, so. What I'm going to do now is add a tin of chopped tomatoes. So I've got these from Aldi. Can you see that okay? Is that picking up all right? Probably isn't. I do apologise. Oh gosh, they're tough, aren't they? Don't cut your hands dirty like last time. No. Remember that with the beans. Yeah, the killer beans. Right, mix that up. Gently fold it in. Nicely, nicely. Okay, I'm going to add a bit of tomato puree. If the lid does it. Don't excuse the banging, it's just the fridge. Okay, <laughs> I didn't look right, did it hang in there? <laughs> You're like, really Steph? Really? Behave yourself, love, behave yourself. Okay, trust me, this is, it may not look nice, yeah, pretty. But it tastes amazing. Okay, so gonna get a fork. I'm gonna stir. And what I do, I'm gonna pour this in, and then I'm gonna add a little bit more water so it covers the veg and meat. So it'll only need a little bit of extra water. Like so. Okay. Oh, there goes the knife. Right, I'm not going to measure it. So this is going to be roughly 100 grams anyway. So, Tesco Pearl Barley, I don't know if it's sinned, I've never sinned it before, it's never done me any harm. So, as you know, I'm on a maintain journey. So, and if we've got any new subscribers, hi, welcome new subby friends, I hope you're all well. Thank you for joining me on my journey. Right, so, okay, that's it. Lovely jubbly. Wipe the little sides, we don't like mess. I'm a bit weird like that so but yeah okay I'm gonna set this up switch it on put it on low for 8 to 12 hours so yeah so that is my beef stew lots of speed food protein is your diced beef as long as you remove the fat and it's lean diced beef it's protein for you so yeah and I suppose it could be low cal as well if you do the measurements and everything you know the weighing and stuff like that on your new check so yeah so uh yeah what do you think what is your favorite winter meal because it is obviously winter isn't it yeah let me know in the comments below so yeah so i'll see you soon
Bye for now. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. It's free to do so. Hit that notification bell for more upcoming videos. And as always, keep smiling, stay positive and take care. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye now.